Are there um, those that incarnate that come from non-physical to physical that have um, specific intent to to be something within the physical? So yeah. I'm speaking specifically of when we look at within. Am I ever term born with momentum on a subject? Yes. Okay. Got it. So anything from a musical prodigy to someone with intellectual pursuits to everything with everything Because you come forth as a balance in order to promote the whole But how do we choose from non-physical where we're carving out our space in physical or do we you don't I'm, because okay. you trust the process so Yeah, because from the non-physical you're focused upon the non-tangible non-expressible non-word vibration mm. At seminar before last we ended with no words just projected a true emotion of fun and Esther interpreted it with hysterical laughter it embarrassed her when she watched the, the playback of it <laughs> a little bit but we were wanting to make the point that when you are trading in the frequencies or in the currency of vibration that it is the emotion of it that is at the basis of it that's what you're reaching for emotion is the purest component of vibration mm. everything else is a further manifestation of it but at the heart of it at the purest form of it is emotion okay so those individuals that want to excel at something particular like let's say for instance um, anything from athletics to to school is it that they've lined up with that emotion and knowing of that they can do it if they wanted to let us see if we can define your question a little sure. a little more broadly okay do we come into this physical body with intentions already established yes but they are for the most part general intentions as you sift through the details of your life you were exposed to the variety that then helps you to frame your further desires so you pick those intentions up along your physical trail okay if you are aware of your emotional integrity then you don't get off on very many wild goose chases because they are just are things that have the potential of satisfying those emotional endeavors or intentions better than others mm -hmm. you see happiness is possible under all conditions and success is possible under all conditions but finding something that suits you let's start in another place we didn't talk about this today but if you've been listening to us for a while you've heard it many times we're going to apply it specifically to this question so you were source energy before you came into this physical body and a part of you came here and the larger part of you remained non-physical vibration so here you are in your physical body sifting through knowing what you don't want knowing what you do want and this sifting process is really at the heart of what you're talking about here because through that that's when you sort of discover what feels best to you and who you are what you don't want what you do want what you don't want what you do want on all levels of your being we could spend days and days and days just talking about what that sifting process affords you but just on an emotional basis you know how you want to feel you're putting a lot of how you want to feel you want to feel successful and you want to feel necessary and you want to feel important to the equations and you want to feel powerful you want to feel satisfied you want to feel happy right. you want to feel necessary is not the best word but you want to feel significant because you came with great reason you want to tune to all of that power that is there and so as life helps you to find pieces of that you throw those pieces into your vortex only now you assign to them characteristics of a physical nature ooh, that you weren't able to assign from the non-physical perspective because it takes that individual sifting and sorting you see source energy is not remaining in non-physical and choosing for you what you will be do or have once you get into your physical body source is understanding the emotional nature of who you are and knowing that this is a whole new platform and a whole new buffet and a whole new potential path for you to choose from because you are expanding you are not regurgitating life you're taking what is and moving it forward you're not just repeating it you see mm -hmm. so as you come into this physical body and you are sifting and sorting through life you are defining how you want to feel you're defining who you want to be and how you want to feel and what you want to have and what you want to do you're defining all of that and putting that into the vortex so then as you 
find ways to manage your emotions so that you are more of the time feeling appreciation and less of the time feeling anger more of the time feeling exhilaration and less of the time feeling worried about something right. more of the time feeling eager and less of the time feeling discouraged as you keep those momentums going more then you allow yourself to reach into your vortex that you've created that you've put each and every component into it both before this physical experience and since but it's the sense part that we want to talk about it's yeah. all of those pieces that you put there what makes you want to be an athlete what makes you want to be a painter what makes you want to be a philosopher what is it that makes you in this balance of humanity choose the pieces that you choose contrast it is the contrast it is the contrast that helps you to make those decisions but we got to say to you and this is what you're driving at there was momentum in the non-physical energy of that which is you before you ever got into this physical body that if you are able to find consistent positive emotion within yourself you will discover the path that was intended by you for you before you came into this physical body mm. and that is the path that will satisfy you the most the path of positive emotion so the question is how broad is that path how narrow is that path well it's broader than you want to believe that it is because the potential for satisfaction crosses just about everything that you can imagine in terms of subject matter but you just can't get around it if you can find a way to get happy you'll tap into who you were before you were born and what you wanted before you were born and then you'll pick up along the physical trail all the components that you picked up and you're gonna live a really dynamic happy life in this physical experience pulling from the palette of this life experience you see these are high flying times the probabilities and potentials of manifestation today are very different than they were 10 years ago just because of what's going on with technology in other words you are in a whole new revolution of potential you see mm -hmm. and yet the source within you knew about that probability even before you got here not the details of it but the probabilities of it so you're ready for whatever this time space reality can inspire within you mm. you could get an inspiration today get focused upon it and live as happily ever after as if you followed out an intention that you set in motion before you came into this physical body does that put that into perspective very much that's so. really the answer yeah. that we want you to hear okay you're giving birth to ideas and desires so powerfully right now in this time space reality that when you line up with them your happiness is assured Ooh, we really like that yeah yeah so and that leads us into our favorite new analogy that we've just been waiting for an opportunity to stick in here and this is the perfect place for it so let's just do this and then we'll continue because we're on a really good track here the pond in Texas was cloudy not functioning well and Esther couldn't see the fish and she couldn't see the bottom of the pond and she knew something was wrong so people came out and they put in a new filter and that didn't help and then they discovered that the pipes that were putting the water back into the pond after it had been drawn out and filtered were clogged with Texas hard caliche clay soil like concrete and so a lot of effort was applied at trying to clear out the pipes and to no avail and so it was determined that the path of least resistance was to just lay some new pipes so they put them right on top of the ground at first just to make sure that their theory was accurate and the pond began clearing right away so they just buried the new pipes and now the pond is so clear a friend said you could see a nickel in the bottom of that pond and you could tell if it was heads up or tails up and you can the pond is crystal clear so it leads us to this discussion on do you really want to take all the time to try to chisel all the caliche out of your old pipes and your old pipes are the belief systems that you've picked up, <laughs> up along your physical trail when it is so simple to just lay new pipes mm -hmm. and just get it flowing well and so we really don't want you to spend too much time trying to figure out who you were born to be and what you were meant to do we just want you to stand right where you are and just lay some new pipes between where you are and where you want to be it is such an easy thing to do you have the support and expertise and attention and clarity and brilliance genius and harmony of the entire universe at your disposal it's just a matter of defining where you want to be from where you are and also it helps if you will add this one strong clear understanding that we're hoping to foster within you in these hours today
and it's going to be fun from where I am to where I want to be is going to be fun it's going to be easy and it's going to be fun it's going to be easy and it's going to be fun it's being fun it's being fun and it's being easy it's being fun and it's being easy it's being clarifying it's being fulfilling it's being satisfying it's being fun it's being fun life bees fun for me it bees fun mm -hmm. life bees fun for me it bees fun it bees fun all the time it bees fun it bees fun yeah may I ask one other quick question certainly thank you um, did you I, really like that analogy that was fantastic that was great <laughs> Yeah. It will set you free. Yeah. It will set you free. You're having a discussion with someone, that same old discussion that you have over and over and over again. You say, wait, I can see my pipes are clogged. <laughs> <laughs> and there's just no point in having this discussion any further. Plus, this discussion is increasing momentum and clogging the pipes further. So if you don't mind, I never want to have this conversation with you again. Mm. They won't like it, but <laughs> if that's your answer every time, they'll stop having that conversation with you. When you're consistent, when you don't go there, then you'll lay new pipes mm. and it'll bring a whole lot of new family and friends. I like that. <laughs>